All right, welcome to Barricade Rides at Emerald City Harley with David. And we got the 2021 Row King Special and none other than the Snake Venom paint. This bike's absolutely beautiful and we cannot wait to show you this bike. I've seen Snake Venom on street glides, road glides, trikes, and it looks good, but not me but this road king is I would ride a snake venom road king any day of the week so let's check this bike out so roll that intro <laughs> Hey everybody, David here to show you the 2021 Road King Special. Um, this is in one of the most unique colors we've seen from Harley Davidson in quite some time. A lot of people have been curious about what the snake venom color looks like. This is it. Uh, it is truly a color shift paint. You'll notice in, later in the video when you get some of the footage from, from Barricade. From one angle, it looks like emerald green and from the other side, it's purple and it's as purple as purple can be don't know how they do it the other thing that's really cool is the variation of the color as you walk around the bike when it changes from green to blue there's some turquoise there's some purple it's just outstanding on this bike so anyway I'll go through a few of the features on this bike so first of all the heartbeat of any Harley Davidson is going to be your engine this is the Milwaukee 8 114 cubic inch engine so that's the largest outside of the CVOs that rolls off a, a Harley factory uh, floor right now. Tremendous pulling power. You got four valves per cylinder. That's where the Milwaukee 8 comes from. And you've got two spark plugs per cylinder. You got massive torque with the single cam, which we've gone back to as of 2017 with the Milwaukee 8. It's now single cam again. Makes it a little bit easier and less expensive to upgrade for stage two. Um, you got two into one into two exhaust. It gives that kind of back pressure, gives that low torque that you're looking for from a Harley Davidson. Um, these are just super nicely powered. And Road King is just iconic. It, there, there's a style to them, there's a comfort to them. Um, they're really that perfect bike for somebody that wants a touring bike. They want that comfort, they want that power, they want some, some of the amenities but they don't want the weight of a fairing or a tour pack. It's the perfect bike for them. So, okay, it's a, a chain primary belt drive final, obviously, as are all Harley Davidsons. Um, this bike has a six speed transmission, which is standard now on, on all the big twins. Um, really nice to have that six gear. And what's really cool about this 114, even in sixth gear going along the highway at 70 miles an hour, you can roll on the throttle and you're gonna be going 80 before you know it. Pass that truck, merge into that traffic, avoid that obstacle, whatever. You just have that kind of power at your fingertips. Okay, so let's go over the front end of this bike. So show us show a front suspension. Uh, you've got adjustable rear suspension uh, with a dial. You've got these incredible blacked out aluminum cast wheels, and they're wrapped in the Dunlop Harley Davidson tires. Now these tires on the touring bikes, they're a, a dual compound. So the center of the bike is made out of a harder compound and the shoulder of the tire is made out of a softer compound. So you get the best of both worlds. Obviously with a touring bike, you're gonna be doing a lot of your riding down the highway. So you're on the center of your tire. So that gives you extra wear where you're spending most of your time on this bike. Then when you wanna hit some twisty roads or you're on a country road, you're doing that corner and you've got that softer shoulder on the tire to give that extra grip, that extra traction. So it's a really great hybrid tire. This bike has twin disc brakes up front, as do all the touring bikes. All the touring bikes also come standard with ABS. So that works with your rear disc brake to give you ultimate stopping power. So you've got the confidence of the acceleration when you need it. You got the confidence of a really great braking system when you need it as well. This particular bike is equipped with RDRS. So RDRS is Reflex Defensive Rider Systems. You can always tell the ones that are equipped because they've got this little TC with kind of the tire logo there. So what does that do? It gives you kind of a suite of features that add safety and, um, um, you know, kind of gives a little more peace of mind uh, to the rider. So it's stuff like 
the bike already comes with ABS, but that adds cornering ABS. So it's taking into account kind of your lean angle and what your different tires are doing, what your, what your engine's doing, but specifically when you're on an angle, which is different than when you're going straight. It also gives you hill hold assist. It also gives you tire pressure monitoring. Um, it gives you uh, limited, uh, basically a limited slip um, in the rear, so you're not gonna lose traction when you're accelerating. Um, it's fantastic in the rain, should you happen to get into some rain. Some people ride year round, so you know it's gonna be really useful a lot for those folks. So anyway, that's a really nice, really nice feature. I also really like the way they've maintained the classic styling with the Speedo and your instrumentation on top of the tank, where they've been on Road Kings for ages. Um, on this display, you have, um, let me get to the right side here, right here. Um, you have your total miles, you have your trip A, you have your trip B, you have your range. Uh, this is your uh, front tire, your rear tire, tire pressure, there's a clock, and then there's a gear selector and RPM. So you notice there isn't an RPM gauge here, your RPM is digital in that display, and it displays the gear you're in next to it when you're at speed. So really cool information. There's your front tire, rear tire, and we're back to mileage. The other thing I really like, the Road King Special comes with this LED Daymaker headlight. Man, so bright, so, uh, so much better to not only see, but also to be seen. They're famously durable, they're famously bright, and then the touring bikes have, um, some of the touring bikes, and you can also add it to this bike, you can actually get uh, a light that will throw the light a little bit more in the direction you're turning when you're on turns. It's an adaptive headlight. Uh, so that's an option you can add to this bike, but just the way it rolls off the floor, this is an awesome light, that big seven inch, super iconic um, Road King headlight. Some other things about the bike, it's got a six gallon tank. So you've got a bike here, depending on how you're doing on an economy, two, 250, if you're riding really conservatively, maybe into the upper 200s in terms of range. That's amazing. I mean, a bike that you could almost ride from Linwood to Spokane without filling up. That's, that's pretty incredible, right? So you've got all kinds of range on this bike. You've also got, in 2014, when Harley introduced the Rushmore um, upgrades to the touring bikes, this was one of the really big ones. Anybody that has those old clamshells that you have to do from the outside, they work, but they can be a little bit cumbersome and just really hard to do with one hand. This I agree. Bike, yeah, you, you, well, you know, right? So this bike, you're sitting on the bike, you need to grab uh, a wallet at a drive-thru or something. It's, it's right here. There's your bag. They're also really easy to get off of the bike, similar to the older style, uh, but these are a little bit easier. Just little screws that you back off. This bag leans out and pulls right off the bike. So easy. That's also really helpful when you're trying to adjust the rear suspension. The other side, you just pull the bag off, adjust your suspension, bag goes right back on, no tools needed. The other thing I really like on this bike is the fender skirt um, LED light just adds that much more light to the back of the bike and at nighttime it's actually pretty bright so you can see when I hit the brakes you got really good visibility back there on the on the rear end of the bike and then of course a two-up saddle very comfortable seat Road Kings are known for their comfortable seat you can throw a quick release backrest on here because when these bikes come in from the factory now, Emerald City Harley Davidson is a courtesy to our customers because so many people want them. We're installing the quick release, quick disconnect hardware on the back of the bike so you can add a luggage rack. You can add a backrest. You can even add a tour pack and mount it off of that if you want to. So more options for you. Rear pegs, really nice pegs. They match the floorboards nicely with the kind of that three three stripe up the center. That floorboard's dirty from my boot, so sorry about that. Um, what else? Oh, the other thing they did on this bike for the touring bikes, uh, the specials and the CVOs this year, they're doing this low profile highway bar. And when you stand back and look at that bike, the older bars kind of gave a little more bulk to the front of the bike, but these real nice kind of a trim line bar it still protects the engine and the bike it still protects the rider 
still gives you a place to mount pegs, but they're but they're a little less obtrusive, right? And I love that they're blacked out to match the rest of the bike. The powder coating on this frame is phenomenal. Harley does not mess around with any of their finishes. So you've got a frame here that's gonna look good and it's gonna be rust free and perform really well for years and years and years. So really great stuff. Um, it's really easy to get a, a quick connect um, mounting hardware for a windshield. You can throw that on, take it off give you some versatility there. But man, you pick up this bike, I probably would throw some pipes on it. I really like the uh, blacked out Reinhardts. I like Vance and Hines. Screaming Eagle makes some really cool pipes. Uh, Chrome Works makes some really good stuff. If you wanted to do a two into one, you can do that as well. Tab Performance makes some really awesome stuff. Uh, Bassani, you name it. Options are limitless. It's just a matter of what you want to do. You can do something as simple as just slip on mufflers. It'll kind of give you that sound you're looking for. You already have uh, a high intake uh, intake on this bike from the factory. You can do a tune, maybe throw a windshield on it, a sissy bar, pack your stuff, and get the heck out of Dodge. Right? Isn't that what we all want to do? So, did you get the color of this bike from the other side, the, showing the purple? Yes, I did. It's kind of unbelievable. My favorite part of the paint job is this one. Yeah, isn't that cool? I mean, that's iconic Harley Davidson too, right? Now on the touring bikes that have fairings, they actually have that one on the left rear saddlebag. They also have it on the front right portion of the fairing. Uh, but obviously on the Road King, not having a fairing. It's just on that bag, just a little splash of color, just a little something to identify you know, that it's a Harley Davidson, kind of give that historic one. I mean, that thing's been around for, you know, generations, right? So cool. And I guarantee this camera is not giving the paint the justice it deserves. It's amazing. You get about midline of the bike, and all of a sudden this purple starts to turn to, green, to kind of a dark teal. And by the time you get over here, it's an emerald green. Purple, the teal, and the emerald green. Isn't that crazy? Don't know how they do it, but it is really cool. They even put in here, in the logo, Harley Davidson Custom Paint. And they're really highlighting the fact that this is a really, really special paint job. I think it's phenomenal. It's a phenomenal bike. All right, there you have it. 2021. Row King Special and Snake Venom. Thank you again, David, and thanks to Emerald City for letting us check this bike out up close and personal. I promise you the camera is not giving it justice the way it should. Yeah. So I highly recommend hit up David, come check this bike out in person. Even if you're not in the market to buy a bike, it is worth coming just to look at. It is definitely worth seeing. I, you know, you and I were talking about it, and I generally would not... I would not choose a green bike. Me neither. So when I heard it was snake venom, you know, you hear snake, you think it's green, right? But, but there's something about the way this is done. There's something about the uniqueness of the paint. There's something about the fact that there aren't going to be a ton of these this year. And you're getting, like, you're getting a paint job that people pay thousands of dollars to have put on a bike. Yeah. It's coming from the factory with Harley Davidson quality and Harley Davidson warranty, and and it just looks, it it's a stunning bike. A stunning bike enough that I would actually consider riding a green bike. Crazy, never thought I'd say that, but this is definitely exceptional. Only way I'm riding a green bike is snake venom. And as always, brothers and sisters, stay safe and ride your ride. Mm -hmm.